of this of this deployment we'll load the model from the hugging phase and deploy it to vertex ai and do a quick transfer learning so basically hugging phase is a library of nlp models which provide which provide a number of tasks like uh, text summarization text classification so the model i am choosing is a text classification model and we'll do a quick transfer learning on it and then deploy it to the vertex ai endpoint for the online prediction so basically when we do when we do like a, train a model on vertex ai we need to deploy it for online predictions only the batch prediction we can do without deployment as well and then load test it to analyze this response time and request per second and based on this we'll uh, define our scaling parameters so the model as i said the model i chose is the text classification model and we call it as xlm roberta large xnli model so the steps to deploy the model on like there are a couple of steps which are defined to deploy the model and the first is the we need a custom serving container and for to create that custom container the base image which you, i am choosing is tot serve because the model is pytorch and this is the like standard image which is provided by the library to serve the models and then we need a custom handler file which will basically have the some methods we need to pre process the input and the output and also uh, pre process the inferences of the model third is we download the pre trained model from hugging face library and then do the fine tuning on it and then with this model and the custom handler file we like uh, we and the command to basically hit that model we push that image in container registry in gcp based like using that we can easily upload the model on the vertex ai so which is our fifth step we upload that model on the vertex ai which will have our custom serving container image which we created above and in the sixth step we will deploy that model to the vertex ai endpoint we uh, using where we can do the online predictions so when we deploy our model to vertex ai endpoints we need to define the machine specifications so basically uh, vertex ai supports auto scaling and accelerators and it it uh, allows us to define parameters which which machine we want to give dedicated machine we want to give to our model deployment this endpoint we can define machine like n1 standard 4 and n1 standard 8 or we can also define our custom machine as well we need to give the location as it will help us to get the lowest latency based on the location we need to serve our users and gpu as like if our model is very large and we need gpu to load the model we can specify that and minimum and maximum loads so this these parameters are useful for, uh, for horizontal scaling like when the load is high we can increase or like uh, basically customize these parameters uh, to get lowest latency possible so this will basically be the uh, fo will focus on these parameters to get the better uh, performance for our model when we uh, like the test classification model just deployed on vertex ai will basically accept input like a text and will give us predictions like positive and deployed model id like on which id it's deployed and display them we need to give the input in the specified format this is the kind of input which is accepted by the vertex ai endpoint and the same output is basically shown to us we can test the model using either the like ui we can send the request like hit the model using this text request or we can also do the curl command on the model endpoint because it's a rest api which we can use hit using the curl command load testing using locust so basically locust is a uh, like helps us to monitor the performance of the model and it's very easy to use python based and can very easily scale up to 100 million users and can help us get the performance of the model easily so it will depend on we are setting up the locust locally or in the cloud so if we have if we want to test it using less load like 100 or 1000 of users we can test it locally like uh, 
it will depend on the like features of your machine but if you want to test it with million of users and which the machine cannot create then you can test it using gke as well which is google kubernetes engine that can scale to millions of users that to very to basically low test the itself this local setup of locus there are very basic three like very simple three steps which we can use to set up locus on local we can the locus is a uh, provided by this python pip as well we can install the locus using pip command pip install locus and then have to write a simple code these three or four lines of code we can write and then run the command to uh, generate the parallel users to hit the endpoint so i'll give a very quick demo i have have this code ready in my local here we from locus import this http user and task and we need to create a access token because the vertex ai we can hit using uh, this token or we need to have access to that endpoint so we are to creating the access token and this is a json request json request which i just uh, showed there with data in d64 so this is basically encoded data and the model will accept right now the encoded data but we can change the code and uh, give it the plain text and it can do predictions on that as well so right now i'm passing data in this way we need to write command locus and it will create a web interface at local host 8089 yeah, like this so we can define here what number of users we want to have parallelly so this will the will be the peak concurrency a uh, number of users concurrent number of users at one time and let's say we give it 10 initially and this is a spawn rate like at what rate the users will uh, getting uh, started so first will the two users get started and then four and eight and up to 10 the maximum there will be 10 post we need to get at what end point we want to hit so in our case this is a url of end point we want to hit. so it has the id of end point and project it will give me the dashboard like this where i can have all the statistics related to the requests which are being handled by the end point like this is the number of requests the end, vertex ai end point has handled so it's increasing one by one by one and it will show me number of fails like it was not able to handle or getting uh, queued up or fail due to some any other error this is basically median response time in milliseconds so currently around 8 second is taken by the end point to give me the response of that request so and rps is basically how many requests per second this model is handling so around one request is being handled by this model per second so there is zero failure we can also access this as chart form like this is how first rp is increasing and almost is getting constant along the way and response time is also getting constant this green one is median response time and this is around 9 second and this yellow one is 95 percent time around median is basically this 8 second and it's basically getting fluctuated like this but average is around 8 to 9 second only Uh, this page will show basically failures if the request is not being handled due to any reason it will give me the exception why it's not getting handled so if i increase the users to 100 let's say so the there is a limitation for the vertex ai like vertex ai scenario is that when request is being queued up for more than 60 second then it will give me 502 bad gateway error or server error so in that case this will show me that there is a failure and the reason will be shown here let's say i edit the users and give it to 100 my response time is increasing now because all the requests are being queued up and the size of machine 
so for this 10 users the site the size of machine i chose is n1 standard 4 and it basically has only four cpus and this gpu i chose is gpu tesla p4 and this is this has min nodes one and maximum nodes three so initially this will have only one nodes active and when the load increases this will scale up to maximum three nodes and based on this setting it can handle 10 users concurrently but as soon as there are a lot of requests getting queued up and the model needs to scale to three so that will take time around 10 minutes it will take and up to that time all the requests get my game may get failed so you can see here in the ui that the request the response time has already touched this 60000 limit and the requests are getting here by green red color that these are getting failed using this uh, like we are getting we are getting this 502 server error or bad gateway error we are 27 percent failure rate so to handle this failure and to improve the performance of our endpoint, we need to do some scaling on it, like how we can scale it to 100 users or 1000 users or yes, million of users. So for that, we need to, do, we can either do ver vertical scaling or horizontal scaling. So vertical scaling also has a, like vertical scaling can improve the response time and request per second, but like, but the limitation is that if there is really less load, then the machine will be underutilized and it will still post us to the large size machine and also it may get failed even after there is a very high load and that machine cannot scale up to more number of nodes because we are only increasing the size of one uh, machine so the better solution for that is horizontal scaling that is instead of increasing the size of one machine like when we know that one machine is able to handle a request easily but only if there are a lot of load then the machine is failing then the system is failing so we can increase we can tweak the minimum nodes and maximum nodes and that can help us to basically scale the model only when there are when there is load we can increase min nodes min nodes of minimum number of nodes will always stay up and post us so we can decide it based on our load but in case we do not increase minimum nodes then only then again it takes 10 minutes to scale up to the maximum node number for that period of time our request may still fail so we need to set the minimum nodes to some level where our requests are not failing and also when the uh, model is scaling to maximum nodes it is giving us uh, better rps and better response time so it may take around 10 minutes to scale up to the three nodes which, have, which i have here set and after that time some requests will be handled by the model and still like 30 percent of the failure rate will still be there so to, to get better performance i also tested it with other machine specifications like getting minimum nodes that's one uh, so these test cases i have just shown you like with 10 users and minimum nodes one two three i'm getting one rps per second and this around eight seconds medium response time and test case two is 100 users with the same configuration of machines so there is a failure rate and response time is hitting 60 second limit the test three i tested the 100 users with setting minimum node to two and maximum node to four so here initially only two nodes are there initially i'll get two second uh, two requests per second and but as soon as i the machine scale to four machines per uh, four nodes there will be four uh, four sec like four requests per second handled and also the median response time will also decrease and there will be very less failure like if the machines are scaled up to four nodes then there will be that only failure will be before the scaling up like when the nodes are at uh, number two uh, similar se uh, setup i tried with the maximum nodes to seven and minimum nodes to two itself in that case the failure rate is same but the response time also decreased and our request handle per second increased to nearly 6.5 as we are having 
seven nodes which are, like the load balancing is going done to the seven nodes are there this is the uh, study i did by testing the vertex ai endpoint 